Hello. Um, today I'm sticking with the Lima theme. Well, Lima and a bit of Jewif, Jewif mixed in. Um, we're back in Europe, France to be precise. And uh, what we got here is a model of a, a Class 40. It's a CC. So it was a three wheels each truck. Um, this one's 40101 and it's um, badged with SNCF <clears throat> but it was uh, this engine was primarily used and manufactured uh, back in the 60s uh, 64 and 67 68 I think when they produced these um, they were primarily uh, used for the Trans Europe Express so I just uh, thought I'd show you the model running. Okay, here we go. Just uh, slow it down, I'll run through what the carriages were. Okay, the, the, seems like I've got a traction wheel, or traction tire problem there. Um, that uh, is a Jew Um It's a baggage car with a bit of passenger um, car in the, towards the end of it there. And I'll just slide through. These are just your standard passenger cars, quite well, quite well modelled. You can see the. If I just move it there a bit, I'll try and bring it out. Just a touch. You can see. Hopefully, if this focuses, that's what I'm after. This is a. Uh, a bit of writing there in the window. I, I, I assume that's some kind of a blind. So they did get us some trouble with uh, with being accurate with this model. It's the same in all of the windows um, throughout. We'll just come back down to the end. Similar, similar setup again. The actual doors work on these, which is surprising. Um, these um, are really old. They're fitted with um, your, your Hornby Double O kind of couplings. Uh, so I've had to do a bit of a Jimmy job, a Jerry rig job there to uh, to, to um, include them because I don't have any uh, couplings that suit the truck that's on the uh, on this so I might have to actually um, change the entire trucks which I don't really want to do um, I suppose it doesn't matter if they only clip in and out and uh, this one here is the last model both these um, motorized um, you suppose it one actually set the actual set comes with a dummy, um, but uh, I acquired another one just in another lot, and I sold the dummy and kept that one just to have a motorised each end. Just uh, it get, makes it uh, move faster, way faster. Um, the thing about the pantographs too. I'm, 
is that this was a kind of like a quad system that the French had to to utilize um, each um, it, those panographs there would be um, used um, in in different uh, countries depending on what phase of electricity they were using um, no um, for example, uh, France and Belgium were different back in the 60s. Same with the Netherlands. So they would um, they would be able to uh, set the uh, pentagraphs up so they could uh, travel through each country's electricity system. So it, it took a bit of um, engineering, but it was they were designed specifically for that purpose so that the tr the engine could be used throughout all countries. Anyway, I'll jack her up and see how we go. I might just pop these down. You can see it's got a bit of pace on it, it goes well. Ordinarily this would have eight carriages, but I don't have eight carriages. That's good enough for this layout. And quite noisy as you can hear, but I don't mind that. It's got the standard Lima motors in it. So, not too bad, quite well detailed. Um, there we are, the handrails there are separate, separately, separately applied. Um, they are not sprung buffers, but they are prone to getting lost, so uh, my advice to anyone who has these is just to probably lob them in with a bit of hot glue or something, just to keep them in. But, uh, the other thing that uh, was innovative about this uh, engine was the uh, windscreen slopes forward. You actually see that the hood of the 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 roof there um, exceeds the, uh, the the front area where the driver would sit, um, and that was designed to reduce glare. Um, in later models, they actually put plates over these windows there. Um, for that specific reason that the glare was getting in, but, uh, they were a uh, uh, well, they were, they were successful, but they were very expensive to maintain. So, but they ran up till about I think the last time one of these ran in Europe was around 2006. It was on some commemorative uh, gig, but still. Um, Ugly, I suppose, you could say. I'm not too sure what the style, whether that's uh, some type of artistic style where that's been uh, expressed. But, uh, you have a look. Not a lot going and looks there, is there? But anyway. Beauties in the eye of the beholder, as they say. But, uh, I like French trains, I have quite a collection of them. They're, they're quite unique, especially their electric trains. They'd be gay, but anyway, I've yelled on for enough. I'll leave you still it.